In August of 2017, 17-year-old volunteer firefighter Michael Zier and 43-year-old Beth Ann Beveridge died in a two-car crash. Beveridge was driving, Zier in the passenger seat, when 27-year-old Edward Cass's vehicle crossed into their lane along Route 286 in Plum. Beveridge's daughter, who was Zier's girlfriend, was also in the car. She was injured and hospitalized, but survived. Today, the judge calling the impact of this crash catastrophic. Cass was driving under the influence and speeding. He turned himself into police more than a month after the accident. Today in court, the defense arguing that Zier and Beveridge were not wearing their seatbelts at the time of the crash, and if they had been, they would have survived. Because of a certain statute in Pennsylvania, that argument could not hold up in court. The other passenger in the car who did have her seatbelt on, you know, survived. So at some point, I think the legislature has to look at that statute because in every case, causation is always an issue. And I think that was a, a large issue in this case, and Judge Cashman could not consider it because of that statute. The whole case is very sad. These are the hardest cases because, um, you know, there, there are car crashes. People don't do it on purpose, although there's absolutely no excuse for driving under the influence. Cass is facing a mandatory 6 to 12 years in jail. For now, he remains out on bail. He will be back in the courtroom on September 24th for his sentencing.